the java formatted text field is a swing graphical user interface component that extends the java or j text field in order to enable programmer to specify appropriate types or sequence of characters so let's see that into detail through this example in this example what are we trying to do let me just run it and let's see the application that we are trying to build up here in the following example over here we will input certain distance uh, in this distance filled text box okay and that input should be in the format of number and whatever number we input suppose say i will enter 12 it will calculate the flight times in hours and driving time in hours in the double format so here for the calculate button we need to uh, add the um, implement the add listener uh, so that it will override the add listener method let me show you here the action performed method here for the add listener mm. yeah here for the calc button we need to input the add listener function so that it will call the listener method and it so through that we will be able to calculate the flight time and the driving time let's see that into detail let me close it and let's start with our code here okay so these are the fields that we are implementing here okay so if we if you observe in the application distance miles level then hours fly label then hours drive label then calc button that we need to develop then the text field for the distance field and here's the one thing for the distance field we are creating the variable of j formatted text field type so here the j formatted text field type it will give one flexibility um which extends the j text field class okay let me show it to you here so we need to implement or import the java text field and the j formatted text field so here the j formatted text field actually it will extend the j text field class here in order to enable to enable the programmer to specify what type of data that we are going to add to our application so that data is to be specified through this uh, j formatted text field distance field variable so this is a special type of variable that we have created we, um, we will further see into detail what um, we are trying to do here let me go to the main function in the main function we are creating one my frame object of the class which will call the yeah which will call our class default constructor and this is the total code um, that you see over here so i am not going into the detail of this code as you know how to create one label uh, how to add them to the frame how to create the text boxes how to create a button that you already have seen in the last videos so let me start with uh, the new type of field that is distance field here we are trying to implement the j formatted text field so what it does actually here in this statement the program will create the j formatted text field object by assigning its reference to the variable distance field via the statement that i have written over here and the item within the parenthesis here the number format dot get number uh, instance so it should be a format object and which type of format is it this should be a number always not a character not as text so the format object actually specifies the formatting requirements for any string that the j formatted text field component displays the statement number format dot get number instance 
method it creates a number format object which specified the formatting requirements a string must meet in order to represent a real number so the number can be one um, let me show you here so the number can be one if i will try to calculate it will show me some valid flight time and driving time uh, i may also implement 1.2 or add 1.2 which will calculate let's suppose i will enter some text like hpo so does it calculate anything no so it's not doing anything so here our dist field or distance field text java formatted text field is supposed to input a real number type so that it should be able to calculate the flight time and the driving time that's all about j formatted text field now let's move on to um, our program okay so let me go to the calc button where we should see how it is adding the add listener so the calc button after being added to the frame over here so it should implement the add, um, add action listener and um, that add action listener should override the action performed method and uh, one event will be initiated so what is that event so any distance that you input in uh, here in the dist field java text or formatted text field component it should calculate something over here so for that total miles is calculating how by taking the or inputting the dist field value and that value any number that you add here let's say i will enter 56 automatically the calculation should be show, shown here in the format of double value so that's why the dist field is taking in the value which is a number type and getting converted to the double value by calling the double value method now if the total miles is greater than 0.0, .0 then we are calculating the hours fly and hours drive over here in the fly time text box and driving time text box and i'm just implementing the set text function to display the hours fly and hours drive values that's all and uh, let's say suppose i will enter some value suppose minus four calculate so it should display one message that uh, we, i should be entering a positive distance value so click ok so how can you display that kind of uh, dialog box by implementing the show message dialog function of the j option pane so the java option pane class must be imported and here it specifies the current fly drive frame my total frame over here and um, that should be implemented by this keyword and this is the message or the text that i need to show here through the display message so measure a message dialog box that's all in this video and it's all about your java um, formatted text field